MyPillow CEO Mike Lindell's ludicrous plan to prove the election was stalled with zero evidence has led to his bank closing all of his accounts in the same week that Donald Trump's accountant said, You're fired. $1.25 store Burt Reynolds has been supporting the so-called Freedom Convoy and his ludicrous plan to personally deliver a truckload of my pillows to the Great White North failed. Anyway, we're going to get them pillows in there. It's it's, it's become like a like a, um, a quest. I mean, it's just like we're going to get them to even if I have to you know, carry them over the border one at a time, um, you know, or, or we'll have or the, we have a couple of backup plans, but um, those pillows are not returning to my warehouse. We will succeed. The guy that tried to send 10,000 pillows across the border to a few trucks that are currently being towed is the same one that wants you to believe that he has secret evidence that proves Donald Trump won the election. It is raining and pouring MAGA tears. I look at Trump getting fired by his accounting firm, the bank shutting down Tom Selleck's slow cousin, his failed pillow mission, an update on the Karen convoy, and the latest and stupid from Don Jr., Lauren Boebert, Marjorie Taylor Greene, and more. Still cheering on the unlawful Karen truckers, Don Jr. tweeted, Castro Jr., <laughs> we will always defend the rights of Canadians to peaceful assembly and freedom of expression. <laughs> Except for right now, because he doesn't like what they're saying. Naturally, I replied, Justin Trudeau's the son of a widely respected prime minister who became a thrice-elected prime minister. You're the son of a diaper-wearing, defeated former president too dumb to name his firstborn, whose biggest achievement is uploading septum-busting, irrational rants to rumble. Brian, I guess, and their cameraman were up there with us, and they were going to film it going across. Well, they, they took Brian across. He went across first to kind of test the waters, Brandon, and, and I don't know if you even know this, uh... He got detained, him and the cameraman, for over two hours. Oh, my word. According to a senior government source, Lindell and his crew were turned away because they weren't fully vaccinated and didn't have a negative PCR test in hand. It's exactly what I said would happen. Hearing different things out of Ontario that they've lifted their complete mandate. Anyone could go into Ontario. You, to get into Canada, you don't have to be vaccinated now. This guy's so dumb that he doesn't get that a province easing mandates has absolutely nothing to do with an international border. I, I, I was calling, I'm going, well, where, where's RSBN? And the trucker goes, I don't know. And he's waiting on this permit that they made up out of the blue, this new permit thing. This new permit thing out of the blue that's been around for a couple of years. You use the ArriveCan app that's been around for a very long time. It's not a new thing to upload your details, your port of entry, and your proof of vaccination. For people obsessed with Donald Trump's border wall, they sure are eager to find a way to get into another country without the proper documentation. They have terrible new journalists up there too, said, oh, Mike's just doing this to get to bring uh, publicity. No. The guy not doing it for publicity sent a branded truck and a camera crew to deliver the pillows. Total unicorn wank. I could have done it. I tried to get them out of my factory up there and just bring them the pillows. But you know what? We've been so de-canceled um, in Canada. If you were de-canceled, wouldn't that mean you weren't canceled? Fox News is so dumb they tried to champion the Karen truckers and showed footage of the locals booing the Karen truckers with signs calling the morons the flu trucks clan and saying, go home. This week, the pinch-faced bikini car wash reject in windowpane glasses tweeted, When politicians say something is for public safety or public health, you can rest assured it's a blanket term for sweeping powers that expand their authority. Naturally, I replied, Since the freedom food poisoning dolts tweeting about public health and safety, you hospitalized dozens after willfully deciding not to properly handle the meat served at your unlicensed rodeo food stand. And your husband won an ankle tag for flashing minors his greasy gherkin. Donald Trump's accounting firm has cut ties with the defeated former president, saying a decade of financial reports should no longer be relied upon. Now, I also have to note that for several decades, Donald Trump's sphincter could no longer be relied upon. So what you're telling me, Doc, is that it's just wide open, it won't close. This is a guy that doesn't drink but orders champagne and keeps the cork. 
the accounting firm not only terminated their relationship with the Trump organization, it also will no longer vouch for the previous financial statements it prepared for the company. That is a big deal. Trump relies on huge bank loans for his real estate projects, and to get that money, they rely on his personal guarantees and statements of financial condition. And when your numbers guy won't touch a calculator for you, the banks will shut tighter than Melania's legs on date night. You know, we haven't done it since we made Baron. It's been a long time, Melania. I think I'm due, okay? Are you still mad about the stormy thing? New York Attorney General Letitia James tweeted, Today, a court ruled in favor that Donald Trump must appear before my office as part of our investigation into his financial dealings. No one will be permitted to stand in the way of the pursuit of justice, no matter how powerful they are. I think it should have said no matter how powerful they think they are. The moment this news broke, you could hear Ivanka screaming, Trump filling his diapers, Eric crying, and Don Jr. calling his dealer. Hey, oh, I'm so glad I got a hold of you. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's Don Jr. DJ. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I'm uh, having a bit of a week. Can you give me an eight ball? Uh... You know, we really should give those truckers some support. Give them some pillows like we do, like victims of hurricanes and stuff. Comparing groups of whiny truckers to victims of natural disasters is the dumbest thing Tom Selleck's slow cousin said since Rocco. Brandon, because I don't about this Rocco thing. So I go to my TV tonight, and where do I find Rocco? You already have a TV with Roku built in it. So I got to go buy a little Roku box. So choose that you want to add it to your home screen. And where do I find Roku? It's an icon now. I think this is a good time to mention I made these Let's Go Darwin mugs that feature my MAGA Tears logo on the other side. I've got these, some stickers, and other fun mugs. Order one up if you want to support the show. Canada, you have, you, you, on a scale, you have Venezuela. Then you have, we all know our friends in Australia, What's going on there? You have Australia where drones come down, tell you to go back in your house, and you've been outside of your perimeter. They're taking people's land. It's not martial law there, but it just is like martial law. Then you have Canada. The freedoms in Canada finally said enough is enough. The freedoms in Canada finally said enough is enough? The freedoms are talking now? Mike Lindell revealed his backup plan to the Daily Beast, and yes, it involves airdropping 10,000 pillows across the border. The guy that wrote the book on crack wants to fly into Canadian airspace. Because if you can't go over the border, if you fly over, it's totally legal, right? We'll just fly right into Canadian airspace, and, and, we'll, and we'll litter thousands of white pillows in the snow as like a treasure hunt for moronic truckers to go find. Well, I just got served the papers. Uh, they're closing my account at uh, Minnesota Bank and Trust. That's Heartline, Heartland Financial, Inc. Remember, we brought it up a couple, couple weeks ago, and all of you reached out to those, uh, to their the bank president and stuff at Minnesota Bank and Trust, and I hadn't heard from. Oh yeah, the two dozen wackos you got to harass the bank that turned out really well. Well, the coward served these paper, this paper on Friday afternoon after the after the biz, close of business day. They didn't even bother to sign it. Tom Selleck's slow cousin instructed his tinfoil hat followers to berate the bank on behalf of him. But the bank is a coward for doing their business on a Friday. You know, hey, isn't that something, Steve? You, you go, okay, he built this uh, Frank speech on Lindell TV. How are we going to get to him? I can just see their big brain... You know, their marketing crew. Let's go after his bank. Nobody went after your bank. Your bank went after you. And I bet the marketing crew at the Minnesota Bank and Trust doesn't make the legal decisions. Meanwhile, on social media, the stupidity continues. We the Fringe closed an international bridge. Uh, fringe is spelled wrong. And closed at international bridges. It's two words now. Someone sent me this, and it's just fantastic. I'm not a racist. I'm a Candian. <laughs> what are you doing this weekend? I'm going to get my Mazda B4000 V6 with my winter rims on it, and I'm going to get some, like, pink paint, and I'm going to put, I'm not racist. I'm a Candian on the side of it with some flags and just drive around town, let people know I'm a moron. Uh, we've been on, we've been trying to get my truck into Canada of pillows. We have over 10,000 pillows. We have the kid pillows. 
um, the Bible stories on them. We have the the premium pillows. We have a truckload of over 10,000 pillows. Well, the Karen Convoy has been posting on social media that they're going to be getting help from the South. They just didn't know it was going to be in the form of no fun sized Bible pillows. This is what we wanted. This is what we got. Reminds me of uh, when you buy a jacket online. This week, Marjorie Taco Gristle tweeted, If Republicans can't stop big tech censorship, then what can Republicans even do? Big tech has gone way past censoring political opinions they don't like. It's silencing truth. If we can't fight to protect truth, then what else is left? And what are Republicans even for? Naturally, I replied, Oh look, the great value spiral ham-headed QAnon supporter that hyped a Jewish space laser conspiracy theory and hid her multiple CrossFit affairs wants to talk truth. Here come the pillows, right? Do, 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 into Ottawa. Well, let's just say, I told my trucker, I said, if they take them pillows, or if they take them and confiscate them, or if they take them and confiscate them, Compensate. Define this in the comments for me, please. If I was still on crack, I'd say, where's my crack pipe? Yeah. You couldn't ask for a more peaceful protest than these truckers. Yeah, the truckers. They've just been sitting there with candles and releasing doves. Several of the Karen Convoy organizers have been arrested, including the one that does the bigoted racist vlogs while driving, and the one with the two Confederate flags in his Canadian garage. Magateers. And now here's one of the main organizers of the Karen Convoy in her Ottawa hotel. There's a pretty good chance. Well, I think it's inevitable at this point. But uh, I'll probably be going somewhere tomorrow where I'll be getting three square meals a day. <laughs> Mega tears. Donald Trump Jr. is smarter than all of your audience lib combined. Mega tears. Another out of work comedian hanging to poorly produced podcast. Mega tears. Never take the shot. Stay strong. Mega tears. I bet you wear a mask when driving around by yourself. Mega tears. You don't understand freedom, you dumb walk lib. Mega tears. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and tell a friend. I am a stand-up comedian. I've performed in 35 countries. I've done several arena and theater tours with Jim Jeffries. I have three albums. You can stream them wherever you like. I also have some awesome mugs and stickers that go great with those MAGA tears. Thanks for watching. Life's short. Be cool. Be kind. Take care.